Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's find out how we can check to see if we have a stable distribution matrix. Remember what that is. A stable distribution matrix is the matrix that after having multiplied the initial state with the probability vector for a number of times so that eventually the probability vector or the, the, uh, the end state of the, of the situation becomes stable, you now have a stable matrix. So in other words, we multiply the initial state with P, then we take that result and we multiply times P again, and we multiply times P again, and we multiply times P again. Eventually, the result will become your stable distribution matrix. So let's say we have a probability matrix that's equal to this and know that it's stochastic because when you add them vertically, the elements, they add up to one. And if we multiply this times itself, you don't get any zero or negative elements. And let's say that we then go ahead and find the stable P matrix. The stable P matrix will be equal to this. And then we also will find that the stable distribution uh, matrix will be equal to this. Remember that when we take the stable matrix and multiply times the initial state, we get the stable distribution matrix. Now what we're going to show is that when we take the initial probability matrix, multiply it times the stable distribution matrix, we should get the stable distribution matrix. Actually, why don't we show both of these that they're true. So first of all, we'll take this 0 0.333 and 0 0.667 and 0 0.333, 0 0.667, and let's multiply that times the initial matrix, and did we get the initial matrix? Oh, I didn't write that down. So the initial matrix, let's say that's equal to 4 and 6, uh, or 0.4 and 0.6, like this. All right, so let's do that, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and let's see what we get when we multiply that. So we end up with something that I believe should be the stable distribution matrix. Let's find out. So it would be this times this plus this times this for the top element. So we have 0.333 times 0.4 plus 0.333 times 0.6 equals. And sure enough, we get 0.333. That's the first element of the stable distribution matrix. And now we multiply this times this plus this times this. See what we get, 0 0.667 times 0 0.4 plus 0 0.667 times 0 0.6 equals, and sure enough, we get 0 0.667. So this checks out, we tested that, and it seems to work. Now we're going to take the probability matrix, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 and we're going to multiply that times the stable distribution matrix, which we got over here, 0 0.333, 0 0.667. And let's see what we get when we multiply this. We should get the same stable distribution matrix. So we get this times this plus this times this. See what we get, 0 0.5 times 0 0.333 plus 0 0.25 times 0 0.667 equals. And sure enough, we get 0 0.333 and then we multiply this times this plus this times this, see what we get, 0 0.5 times 0 0.333 plus 0 0.75 times 0.667 equals, and sure enough, we get 0 0.667, and this checks out as well. So that is how we check a stable distribution matrix. If we have a stable distribution matrix and want to verify that it is indeed the stable distribution matrix, we multiply it times the probability vector, or I should say matrix, that's not a vector, it's a matrix, and then we should get the same matrix back, the same uh, stable distribution matrix. And you can see that it works, and therefore that's how we check it.